We're breaking down the top three most anticipated matches that have fans buzzing. And third, Damian Priest versus Finn Balor, a Judgment Day implosion. The drama between Damian Priest and Finn Balor has been simmering for a long time, but it's finally reached its boiling point. These two men, once allies in the Judgment Day, are now bitter enemies, and their clash at Bad Blood will be a reckoning. The seeds of their feud were planted when Priest won the Money in the Bank briefcase, creating a rift in the Judgment Day. Finn, ever the egotist, saw Priest's rising star as a direct threat. At SummerSlam 2023, Priest's interference cost Finn a world championship match, and from there, the tension escalated into full-blown conflict. But the real tipping point came when Finn interfered in Priest's title defense against Gunther, costing him the match. That loss was the final straw, cementing Priest's need to step out of Baylor's shadow and prove he's no longer a pawn in Finn's game. This isn't just a match, it's a battle for respect, power, and closure. Both men are entering the ring with something to prove, and fans are here for the chaos that will undoubtedly unfold. 2. Cody Rhodes and Roman Reigns versus The Bloodline, a shaky alliance. Next, we have what might be the most unpredictable tag team match in recent WWE history. Cody Rhodes and Roman Reigns teaming up to face Solo Sokoa and Jacob Fatu of the reformed bloodline. This match is soaked in family drama and legacy. Cody and Roman, who were at each other's throats earlier this year at WrestleMania 40, are now unlikely partners, brought together by a common enemy, the bloodline. Cody, the reigning WWE champion, took down Reigns at WrestleMania, but their rivalry isn't over. Their partnership is uneasy, and while they'll be working together at Bad Blood, it feels like a ticking time bomb. On the other side, Solo Sikoa has stepped up as the new leader of the Bloodline, with Jacob Fatu by his side. These two represent the future of the Samoan dynasty, and they're not just looking for a victory, they're fighting to solidify their legacy. Will Roman and Cody's fragile alliance crumble under the weight of their egos? Or will the Bloodline emerge as the new dominant force? This match is not just about winning, it's about power, legacy, and the future of WWE's most storied faction. First, CM Punk versus Drew McIntyre, Hell in a Cell Showdown. And finally, we arrive at the match everyone is talking about. CM Punk vs. Drew McIntyre inside Hell in a Cell. This isn't just any match, it's the violent climax to a feud that has been raging since Punk's return to WWE in 2023. For months, these two have traded victories, sneak attacks, and scathing promos. At SummerSlam, McIntyre got the upper hand after a controversial altercation involving guest referee Seth Rollins. Then, at Bash in Berlin, Punk finally seemed to settle the score in a brutal strap match. But McIntyre wasn't done, unleashing a vicious assault on Punk that reignited their rivalry. Now, they're stepping into the most unforgiving structure in WWE history. Hell in a Cell is more than just a cage. It's a battleground where careers are shortened and legacies are forged. For Punk and McIntyre, this is the final chapter. Both men are entering this match not just to win, but to destroy each other. With one victory each in their previous encounters, this is the rubber match, the ultimate decider. And inside Hell in a Cell, there's no escape. This match will be brutal, it will be bloody, and it will leave an indelible mark on WWE history. So, there you have it. The top three matches that make Bad Blood 2024 a must-watch event. Each one is fueled by months of tension, personal vendettas, and the kind of storytelling that makes WWE so compelling. Which match are you most excited for? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to WrestleFun for more in-depth breakdowns and predictions. Until next time, stay hyped and get ready for some bad blood.